What's going on guys? I'm gonna go ahead and go through the setup on this wheel and how I've changed all my dials and toggles. As you can see here, the car itself, the brakes feel good, but they could definitely take some more bite. So on my left toggle, I'm gonna go up, take this brake bias up to about 3.2. I'm gonna come over one, take my traction control up to three. ABS, I'm gonna take the three as well. Throttle, I'm also gonna take the three. See how it feels going into this corner. See if I can get a little bit more bite out of the front of the car. Definitely not getting as many lights on the dash, which is good. Got a good run out of there. I've only ran two laps, so I really don't need any fuel. So I'm gonna go here, get rid of the auto fuel. Don't need that. Tire wise, I really don't need tires either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all the tires out. Everything feels good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make an adjustment on the view. Maybe be able to see a little bit more of the apex. The car feels good. It's definitely a little bit loose in the back, so I know I've got the pit lane coming up here soon, so I'm gonna go here. Uh, maybe add some rear wing. See how the pit crew feels about that. What's going on? My name's Joseph. I'm gonna be going through the Fantech setups for iRacing. I apologize, my mic is probably not the best, but I'm just doing this because I took a lot of time trying to figure this all out and there wasn't really a good video for it. So I was able to kind of piece a lot of things together and get it set up. So I'm just gonna go through, I got the McLaren GT3 Fantech wheel. Like normal, just standard wheel. Um, you can see on here, you got your different switches, you got your rotaries, uh, you got your up and down switches, everything. I mean, it's kind of traditional with all the Fantech wheels that they're all about the same. So there shouldn't really be much of a difference. But the thing is in iRacing, trying to map all these, is the problem I've always ran into. So we're gonna go through a couple of those things and try to figure it out because I just reset everything on my wheel. So now I have to remap it all. So it's a perfect time to do this. So you got the wheel on, you got everything set up, everything's plugged in. You should have already downloaded FanLab when you got the wheel, but if you didn't, uh, you can just go to fantech.com. They've got everything on there for downloads. So once you get the FanLab set up, you'll have a main menu and a tuning menu. And on here, at the very bottom, you'll have multi-position switches. Um, when I got this wheel, it came as auto, and I couldn't get anything to stick. So I had to go and set it at constant. Now, as you can see here, I've got another switch down here. As that changes, it'll change on the actual screen. Uh, I leave that in the mappable. So you can leave that there. Uh, don't got to worry about that. But the MPS does need to be constant. All right, so next up, we're gonna go to controls because I wanna be able to change everything while I'm in the race because unlike traditional racing, you don't have the crew chief and the spotters and people making these changes and all that stuff. You're, you're racing for fun usually, or you're just trying to make it around the lap. That's kind of how it is in the lobbies I run. So we're gonna start off with like an easy one. So we'll go here to break by a set. So I got both the switches here in the 12 o'clock position, which is kind of weird because 12 o'clock should be at the top. However, on this wheel, it shows it at the bottom. So, uh, brake bias, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go over to the right one, hit reset. Then I'm gonna go back to 12. And this is increased value. I'm gonna go up on my toggle, hit done. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to the right, hit reset back to the left and hit down dun, dun. you can see here on my actual dash when I go up and down it changes my brake bias traction control I'm gonna take this I'm gonna move it from 12 to the one position and I'm gonna go up hit done now I'm gonna go back to the 12 position over to the 11 I'm gonna do down 
that's gonna set my traction control go same thing go over one up done back in down done done throttle shaping gonna go up one up done down back up down done we should be able to go brake bias up and down now we're doing traction control up and down abs up and down and throttle control up and down perfect looks good to me that's what i want it to look like that way when i'm racing i can make these changes now to use both switches we're going to go into different things you can change using these switches so i'm going to go down to my black box settings i want the the standard lap timing to be this switch here so i'm going to go to the 11 o'clock position i'm going to click here go back it's going to show that button now in order to get it to stick you have to have a second button so i just hit the enter perfect so now we have lap times that's where i want next i want the fuel box so i'm gonna click there go to the next hit enter I want the tires next, enter, pit stop adjustment, 50. Looks like all these are set up already, which is nice. Um, okay, so now I'll go back and do, I'll do tire here. When I'm in this position, I've got just my standard lap timing right there in the middle. I go over, I got fuel, tires, pit stop, in-car adjustments, mirrors, tire info, and back to square one. Now I can't make any adjustments, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out, I'm going to go to the options page, go to controls, and then back here at the bottom, so I'm going to take this dial on the left, I'm going to say select next control. So in order to do that, I want to go back one next control is going to be up perfect previous control gonna be down increase same thing but now i'm going to go over here that's increase same thing decrease now for toggle um what's a good button probably this button over here I go here and I say, okay, I need to add fuel. So I, I've clicked over, I see my fuel page. I'm gonna go to the right. Now I can go through, change here, begin fuel. Obviously you don't need fuel. Add some fuel to the car. Uh, let's see, maybe I wanna change the PSI on this tire or I wanna replace it. So I press that button, it replaces the tire. Good to go. So another thing I want to do is, is I know that six is already taken, so I'm going to go over one more. Uh, we'll start with field of view. So here, um, widen, go up. Um, we'll take this one, decrease. good to me so now when i'm sitting in the car i should be able to uh adjust the way the person's sitting whatever i gotta do there back to normal everything's good so now we just pretty much roll with what we gotta do you can change other stuff but that's how these rotor switches work with the up down arrows there's a bunch of other things you can dial into these steering wheels, but Fantech doesn't really spell this out for you for iRacing. So that's kind of why I put this video together. That way you can see, oh, if I need to do this, I can have that there showing me this, and then I can dial it back and change things up. You know, it's, it's nice to be able to have those things because in a race, you don't have a crew chief or a spotter doing these things. So you're like, here I'm at Le Mans, so I'm, I'm racing around. I get some straightaways so I can go in like a lap before I need to pit and I can say, hey, 
I have four laps left and this car can hold six laps of fuel. I want to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to adjust it so that I'm just at like maybe four and a quarter laps, just enough to get past the finish line, you know, get off the track, not have to worry about anything. You can go in, you can change your fuel mapping. Maybe you messed up on your calculation. So now you're, you're running too rich. You got to dial it back a little bit. Same thing with the brakes, your ABS keeps locking up. You can change the ABS, the brake bias. You can change the wing settings. So when you come into the pits, you're not fumbling around on top of everything else. Uh, you can go back two dials this way. Um, that's one way that you could set up, you know, like a clear tire or clear fuel. That way, if you're coming in just for tires, you can clear the fuel with the down arrow or you can clear the tires with the up arrow. There's endless possibilities with the steering wheel to really take control of your race. So it's just playing around with it, kind of getting used to these controls. I will tell you this, iRacing will not hold your wheel. So if you disconnect your steering wheel uh, from the computer or something like that, it will not save all your sets. So you have to reset it. And that's why I did that today. Now, if you restart your computer or the power goes out, it's fine. But for some reason, when you actually manually unplug the steering wheel from your PC, it forgets everything. It'll show everything in there, but it will not work until you remap it. So just a little heads up with these steering wheels. Maybe if you guys have any other information or know anything else, throw it in there. Um, because I'm still learning with this too, but... That's all I got for this. Hopefully that's helpful in any way. And uh, I guess we'll see you out on track.